Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be checking in with my three month update of using a derma roller to try and thicken up my patchy facial hair. If you're brand new here and you've ever wondered if these beard roller thingies actually work, you've come to the right place because three months ago, I wondered exactly the same thing. And from there, out of my sheer curiosity, I decided to explore the science behind these. And based on my findings, I was actually very intrigued and decided to test it out over like a six month period just to see what happens. So you are joining halfway through the party and if you want to go back and get the full scoop on you know everything I found out about these things episode one will be linked in the description box for you and also just before I forget I'd love you to smash that love button today if you like what you see for the Altube algorithm because that means that my content will reach more people <laughs> anyway today's video is really going to be covering my honest thoughts about using this thing over the last three months because there is a lot of thoughts that I've had and then later on I'm gonna be covering the results that I've noticed in the last three months so buckle in picking up from where we left off over these last three months I've tried to be as diligent as possible with using this thing the commitment I made initially was to perform two dermaroller sessions per week on my facial hair and what actually ended up happening uh, was Wednesdays and Sundays seemed to be the days that work best and sometimes Thursdays as well because let's be real a lot of the time I just forgot it's a new thing that you've got to add into your routine and personally I don't love fussing around in the bathroom for any longer than I have to like I'm an in and out kind of guy mmm in and out burger no but really one dermaroller session ended up taking me anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes uh, and that's just for my facial hair. If you did watch episode one, you'll know that I originally was keen on testing this like derma rolling sequence out on my whole face just to see if I could get a better glow in my skin as a bonus. Uh, but if I had have stuck to that, I would have been stuck in the mirror for well over an hour every time I did a derma roller session and <laughs> spending an hour in the mirror is just completely against my values. So it didn't end up happening, okay? The facial hair is as far as I'm gonna go with this. So if we're talking about my honest opinion, the first thing I now think when I look at these is like, whoa, that's 20 minutes I'm never gonna get back. And that might be because I am a lazy groomer, I don't know, but you know, that's how I feel about it. The other thing I found a little frustrating about my experience with this was the aftercare process. So after a dermaroller roller session, you're meant to whack your beard serum on to help like boost the growth cycle. And then you shouldn't wash your face for about four hours afterwards. So the skin has time to calm down and it kind of prevents further irritation from what I've read. But the thing is, in my normal routine, Cleaning my face is usually the last thing that I do before I go to bed and I feel weird if I go to bed without a freshly washed face. I don't know if I'm just a weirdo, but I'm really weird about it, hey. <laughs> so on the nights when I use the derma roller, I've kind of got to swap around my whole routine because you have to have a clean face before you actually do the derma roller session and you can't wash for four hours after the session. So if I'm doing that just before bed, it really kind of fucks with my rhythm. And yeah, okay, I could just, you know, make the time in the morning after washing my face to do my derma roller session. But the mornings for me, they're like, go, 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 man. Like there's no extra time in the morning to fluff around. So doing something like this really works for me better at nighttime. You know, when I can take my time with things, like I can really do things properly because when you got to spend a lot of time on something, I just hate rushing. Like it's something that I'm not a fan of. So that's one thing that really kind of like, <laughs> pissed me off. Speaking of clean faces though, I do think this would be a perfect time to introduce today's sponsor, which is Tish Hanley. Tish Hanley are my go-to face wash heroes. As I was saying earlier, I'm an in and out kind of guy and it's almost like they were thinking of me when they developed their product line. It's that uncomplicated, I could probably do it with my eyes shut. Although, I probably wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> the skincare system I currently love using from them right now, right before bed, is the level three system because it's got everything that I need and nothing that I don't. I've got a gentle daily facial cleanser. I've got an AM and PM moisturizer a twice a week exfoliator scrub. I also get some eye cream. And my most recent favorite is the Super Serum, which gives me that really fresh, firm feeling before bed on days when I'm not dermarolling. And what makes everything really quick and easy is each system comes with a step-by-step -step guide that shows you how much product to use and in what order to use it. So you get the best results and save money by not wasting product. It's a win-win scenario. There's also no lock-in contracts, so you can cancel your subscription at any time. And all Tiege members inside the US get free shipping and they 
also do worldwide shipping for a small fee. The other notable thing I need to mention about T. Shanley is they've committed to a closed loop recycling plan which involves post-consumer recycled material in their packaging in an effort to reduce their environmental impact. They're also making it easier for Tiege members to return their packaging so that packaging can be recycled into new packaging instead of being chucked into landfill. And honestly, after all of the shenanigans that went down at COP26 this year, I think it's the most imperative time for us as consumers to look at what brands we're investing in because businesses have a huge responsibility in how the economic system works. So the fact that Tiege have started doing stuff like this makes me even more proud to talk about them on here as a sponsor today. If you'd like to give Tiege Hanley a try, uh, you can click the link in my description box to get started for just 30 bucks and they'll also chuck you in a free gift with your first box. But for now, let's get back to my thoughts on derma rolling. So other than the process being a little bit more time consuming than I'd like and that you know it, it's it's messing with my routine a little bit. I must say the pain of using one of these isn't as hectic as I thought. After my first session in episode one, I described the feeling as a sunburnt feeling the following day. Uh, but the more I've been using this, the less irritated my skin is becoming the next day. Now, that is kind of a double-edged sword too, because if we look at the science behind how these things work, initially what we come across is this thing is supposed to purposefully make injury sites, like micro injury sites on our skin, which then causes the body to start the healing process as well as the hair growth cycle. So technically, my thought was, if my skin's getting used to this, does that mean it's becoming less effective? I just wasn't sure. So I guess it's like another point that I need to go and research a little bit more on. And I want you to leave that one with me because I'll get back to you in the next episode about that. Anyway, so that's kind of what my experience with using one of these things has been like in the last three months. Uh, but the real question is, is it working and have I noticed any differences? Well, the short answer is yes, I have noticed a difference, but not in the way that I had typically hoped. <laughs> Let me explain. So my original goal with this whole thing was just to see if I could increase the density of my hair in the patchy areas, like down here, okay? And what I understood from all my research prior was by doing the derma roller session, we were going to wake up any dormant hair follicles that could possibly be sitting underneath here uh, to help bring more hair out. And in all honesty, there doesn't appear to be a blatant difference in the density of the hair here. However, there is significantly more hair starting to appear higher on my cheeks. Now, I've always shaved my cheek line to remove any stray hairs that would sit above here. Like I used to have, you know, six or seven that would sit above the line that I would shave. And that's the reason I used to get rid of them because they looked kind of out of place. What I'm noticing now is on these cheek areas that I'm talking about, it is starting to feel stubbly. It's not six or seven hairs anymore. And I'll be very interested to see what it looks like in another three months. It did also cross my mind that I might be noticing better results up here rather than down here because the derma roller has direct needle to skin contact in this area. Whereas the needles when I use it on this area kind of have to go through a layer of hair which could have made it less effective. Again, I'm not sure. And I may even you know, shave my face completely bare for this next stint. So the needles have like an even distribution on the skin. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. But in review, I'm still keen on continuing continuing this and that I shall. Thank you so much for watching this far in the video. If you did like what you see today, uh, please make sure you give it a thumbs up for the Altube algorithm. And yeah, this is my last video for 2021, by the way. How scary is that? 2022 is just around the corner. I really do feel like next year is going to be a great year. And I guess that's another thing. We're just going to have to wait and see. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next update. And I'll see you next time. Catch you later. Oh, am I sweaty? I think I'm sweaty. <laughs> Bye.